In this video, we will see how to deploy a MySQL database in Microsoft Azure. And after that, we will try to connect it to the MySQL Workbench. For this, just head over to the Microsoft Azure portal. And in the search bar, just type MySQL database. In the suggestion, just click on this Azure database for MySQL server. Click on that. So click on here, create Azure database for MySQL server. In this tutorial, we are going to create a flexible server in instead of this WordPress plus Microsoft flexible server. So just click on this flexible server. Click on create. So in the next page, it will display something like this. So choose your subscription type. In this case, I am choosing Azure for students. After that, select a resource group. If you don't have one, you can create a new one. So I will create a new one here. So below that give a name for your server so i just give a name for my server and below that and for the region just leave us default and for the mysql version you can choose i'll be choosing the latest version so scroll down so for the availability zone also leave us default so scroll down so in the admin username just give a username for your database and also give a password in the networking section you need to add a firewall rule so that we can connect the database in the mysql workbench for this just scroll down and in the firewall section so just click on this add current client ip address so now click on review plus create click on create button So we will be charging approximately 500 rupees a month. So wait for a few seconds. As you can see it says deployment in progress. Now our MySQL database has been deployed. So to connect to the MySQL workbench, open your MySQL workbench. So just click on this plus icon here. For the connection name I will give you a name. So for MySQL database Azure for the first name to the Microsoft portal and copy the server name here and paste it in the first name and for the username again go to the Microsoft Azure and copy this server admin login name and paste it in the username and for the password just type your password that you have given earlier so after you give your first name and username and password just click on this ok button so now our mysql database now has been added so just double click on it as you can see we have successfully connected to the mysql database server so let's try some comments so let me create a database here so create database db1 so let's try to execute this and also so let me go to the azure portal to check if the database is created or not so in the databases section as you can see the db1 has been updated here so you can create the tables or insert some data in the MySQL workbench that will automatically update in the Microsoft Azure database. So this is for this video and I will meet you in the next one.